Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. No, it is not the dead of winter, believe it or not. It is the middle of June. It is just freezing here in the UK. And I live in like the southeast of the UK where it's usually a lot warmer than the rest of it, but it is so cold. It has not stopped raining. It's like, it is not summer here. I don't know what's happened because last year it was so hot. It was so warm. And this year, I mean, it's hot, you know? <laughs> so as you can see, I have a full face of makeup on, minus one and very important thing, the lips. And this is because today in the post, I got my, oh my god, I'm so excited, my brand new Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips 2 collection. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean... I haven't even opened them yet because I wanted like to do my first impressions on camera with you guys but they are like stunning so it looks like there are three sorry no four different designs of boxes there you go four different designs of boxes and in the set there are 11 new lipsticks okay now disclaimer Either. And this claims to be a moisturizing lip conditioner. Fancy name for a lip balm. So we will open her up and have a look. Oh, it feels awful ripping it, but like the ends are taped down, so I don't know how else I would get into it. I know this is like sacrilege. Oh, oh my goodness. So this is something else with the new Hot Lips 2 range is that they all come in these gorgeous unique cylinders or components and they're refillable so once you have used this up you can take it off you can put it on a on a new lipstick so none of it goes to waste and it's so beautiful okay let's open her up mm -hmm. yep there we go so she is a lip balm enigmatic edward is a lip balm i've lost my jeffree star mirror ah no i haven't there it is Okay, that does feel really creamy, really buttery, and very hydrating, that's really nice. Okay, yeah, that's good, I like that one. Let's go straight in with this shade, Red Hot Susan. Okay, well, Susan has a gorgeous case. Look at that, it's a really pretty leopard print casing. Let's have a look, oh my goodness, and of course it has the signature Charlotte Tilbury Kiss. Wow, that is a gorgeous matte red shade. Very pigmented, very pretty, but it's not too harsh. It's still quite delicate, I think. Okay, Susan, we like you. We like you, Susan. On to the next shade is Viva La Vagara. Now, I won't lie to you, when I saw the shade name at first, I thought it said Viva La Viagra, which I, I thought was bold, was a bold choice. But then I read it again, I was like, makes more sense and also i do just want to point out that all of the lipsticks under the description it says luminous modern matte long lasting lipstick a cashmere cream texture with a soft matte finish enriched with papaya and orchid extracts and yeah i would i would have to say like as far as the other lipsticks go from charlotte Tilbury, which i've tried which is a lot and um, they are very long lasting they really are and um, the liquid lips generally last longer than the lipsticks but the lipsticks still last a very long while okay we have another new cover here we are viva la vagara very pretty open her up Ooh, i like that shade even more so we'll try this out Ooh, pretty this one took a bit more persuading to actually go on there than red hot susan but i mean like once it's on there it's it's gorgeous i mean that is beautiful. Here it is up close. Viva la Vagara, we love you. Here we have Patsy Red and it's kind of like a like an overall theme with the hot lips with the the first collection and the second collection it's beginning to look like that they are I mean they're called hot lips you know they are very kind of bold very striking stunning colors. Okay I think this is my new favorite component this is 
gorgeous oh my goodness look at it it's so pretty oh oh my goodness oh my goodness so pretty i mean this is the shade that you want to be wearing when the police show up at your door after your third husband died of mysterious circumstances this is the shade you answer the door in this is gorgeous we'll swatch her here again she needed a little bit of persuading to go on but to be fair i am swatching it on my arm instead of my lips and your arms obviously the skin is completely different between here and here and also your arms have little tiny hairs that grab and drag so you are likely to kind of struggle a bit with swatching on your arm whereas on your lips you wouldn't have an issue. Here they are together. So pretty. Up next we have a JK Magic. I open this baby up. Oh, okay. I know I said the last component was my favorite one, but no, this one is my favorite one. <laughs> like, look at that. Can you see? It's got like the little starry night on it. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Try her out with her sisters. <gasps> oh, oh, she's pretty. Ooh. Okay, she is very creamy she went on like an absolute dream she is gorgeous my god i love her okay okay yep okay so so now jk magic is my new favorite so we'll see we'll see how we go okay so next we have amazing amal and just like viva la vaguera i looked at it and thought it said something else I'm not gonna say what i thought it said because this is the um, a relatively PG channel but you know I mean I'm sure you can figure it out for yourselves here she is here's the component slightly different to one of the others that we've seen oh it's pretty it's really pretty oh my goodness really pretty see how she swatches Ooh, okay she's pretty too I mean she doesn't want to play as nicely as her sister did over here but she's still really, really cute. Cute. Moving on, we have Dance Floor Princess. I mean, if there was ever a lipstick that described me, it would be this. <laughs> or at least this is what I think I am when I'm on the dance floor. I think I'm a dance floor princess. I'm actually the village idiot. <laughs> I really hate the fact that you have to like, really like vandalize the box to get into it. And I know it's because that you can then like rip off this top bit and keep the the little case that it comes in but I never keep that so it just feels weird to just you know be ripping it apart like it's Charlotte Tilbury it's luxury high end I don't want to have to destroy it nevertheless here we are again we have a red leopard print case very cute oh pretty okay she's a lot like JK magic see how she swatches oh pretty Oh, that is pretty. So I think what I'm noticing is that the kind of lighter shades like Dance Floor Princess and JK Magic are a lot creamier than the red. I'm not sure why that is. I do know that Charlotte Tilbury is of course uh, vegan and cruelty free and it is really, really difficult um, to create a good vegan matte red. So um, I think maybe they struggle with that a bit because they're not as creamy and they they don't glide on as well as the kind of the, the nudes and the pink but like they're, like they're still pretty they still get the job done you know okay now we have glowing gen another cute leopard print lovely oh wow that is pretty that's stunning oh very cute give her a little swatch oh Oh, okay, yeah, that one's my new favorite. <laughs> it's just so rich and pigmented. Okay, now we have Karina's Star, which I'm wondering if it is going to be similar to Karina's Love, another Starry Night component. So I just want to open it. Oh, there you go. Ooh, okay, that's cute. Can someone in the comments down below let me know how many times I say cute or pretty? Because <laughs> I would imagine it's a lot. Give her a little swatch. I mean, that just glided on there like an absolute dream. Ugh, my arm would stretch. Here she is. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, like so far, I am really impressed. They are all really gorgeous colors. They're all very pigmented. They're, they're very creamy, some creamier than others. And they're just so nice. They're so fresh and they're so different to 
the other colors in the collection. And last but not least, we have In Love with Olivia. Of course, there is one more, like I mentioned, but for some reason, either I messed up or whatever, something went wrong and I didn't get all 11, I just got 10. But for now, this is our last one. Here is the component. Okay, very nice. And again, with the pinks, very, very creamy. Here she is with her sisters, fitting in perfectly. So going down the list, we have Red Hot Susan, Viva La Vergara, Patsy Red, JK Magic, Amazing Mel, Dance Floor Princess, Glowing Jen, Karina Star, and In Love With Olivia. So I don't know if I necessarily have a favorite or a least favorite, but in terms of pairing one shade with this look, they are very kind of winged out and they're kind of a mauvey purple so I suppose the colour that I think would go nicest with that might be possibly um possibly Viva La Vergara. So without further ado I am going to pop this onto my lips, finish this look and that is me sorted. Oh my god it's so creamy. It applies so effortlessly. Like, I mean, I absolutely love it. It's it's matte, but it's it's not like a dried matte. It's it's very, I know I've said this word a lot, creamy, um, but it really is. And it feels really nice. It feels smooth. It feels hydrating. And even though, like I said, on the wristwatches, it came out a bit patchy on the lips, it is perfect. It's... I mean, it really is perfect. So, what do I give the brand new Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips 2 Collection lipsticks overall? I mean, it's gotta be five stars. I mean, if there's ever a day that a product from Charlotte Tilbury gets less than five stars from me, I mean, I must be sick. Like, there must be something wrong with me. I must have the flu, I must have a fever because I just cannot fault Charlotte Tilbury products. They're always on the money, on point. They are always, they are always producing such good products. And they are pricey. I mean, you're looking at £28 each. However, with this, you do get a refillable component that you can use again and again, and they are collectibles. So it really depends. Are you willing to spend that kind of money for this kind of product? And I would say yes i mean i mean clearly i am i got like all of them <laughs> but that's just because i have no self-control <laughs> i would say not you don't necessarily need to buy all of them <laughs> i mean if you want to get a good range you know maybe you just want to take like one of the kind of deeper reds one of the kind of brownie mauves and one of the peachy pinks and you know with those three you will have maybe the best of the collection or the kind of the most universal ones of the collection but I really do think they are a lovely worthwhile lipstick. That's it from me today guys if you like this video you can of course give it a thumbs up and if you really like it you can subscribe for more content from me. Also if you feel like it you can leave a comment down below because I read each and every single one and I reply to almost all of them. Likewise, you can hit that notification bell if you want to know when I upload. And don't forget, if you feel like shopping at Snatch Studio, you can use the code LAURA20 for 20% off your purchase. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you had fun with me. I have fun with you. Everything is, of course, going to be linked in the description. And thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. Love you guys. Bye.